What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Coaster Studios. My name's Taylor and it's January 2020, which means it's time to talk about some of what I have planned for the new year. Of course, we have a brand new haircut. We have lots of cool things that you can expect to come with the channel soon. And so that's why I'm pretty excited to talk to you about some of the things that we have planned. Now, I do this every single year and I always have to emphasize that, look, this is not set in stone. This is not 100% confirmed or anything. There are some things in here that are confirmed, but a lot of what I'm talking about, you are just some general ideas that I have. I think that uh, in some years past, I've announced some stuff that has not happened. Like, I think last year I announced, yeah, I'm going to Valley Fair. Well, that clearly didn't happen. So, uh, and then likewise, I did uh, like Southern California in October and IAPA in November. And like, that was some things I didn't talk about in last year's video. So, I just want to get that out of the way first is know that this is not 100% set in stone for what uh, I'll be doing. But I do think that you can expect some pretty cool things here with the channel. So I'm going to waste no time. I'm going to get right into this. And that is starting with what's going to be happening at the end of this month, because I'm going to be heading to Southern California to go ride West Coast Racers and Rise of the Resistance at Disneyland. Both of those pretty highly anticipated attractions. Of course, West Coast Racers supposed to open last year. That didn't really happen uh, unless you count a member preview in December. So uh, I'm excited to go and check out both of those attractions. Uh, might be able to squeeze in some other stuff, but it's just going to be a quick weekend trip. Uh, so uh, just mainly going for those two rides. So I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, February don't really have any set plans as of right now, but that's because March is going to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good month. And it's not going to be what you expect because March is always when I have my spring break from uh, my university. And so this year I was like, I want to do something a little bit different. You know, I have nine days here. What can we do? And so I decided it is time to go back to Europe. Whoa, starting things off pretty exciting. We haven't even gotten to the summer yet. Yes, I'll be going to Europe in March. Now, uh, I'll not be visiting the parks that you might be expecting me to go because there is a caveat with this, and that is that most parks in Europe are not open this time of year. They open typically early April, and so I don't exactly have a whole lot of options of what parks to visit. You know, I there's only a few that will actually be open. Again, this is because I have my spring break, and so that's why I have to go during this time of year. So actually, what it's going to end up mostly being is a sightseeing trip, because when I went to Europe in 2018, you know, I was doing all these different parks, but only got to see a few different cities and didn't get to exactly spend a whole lot of time at those places. And so that's why I want to make this mainly a sightseeing trip. However, we will be doing a few parks, and that is Disneyland Paris, Walt Disney Studios, because we will be going to Paris, France, and Disneyland Paris is one of those places that is open, I think, 365 days a year. So I'll be able to go and visit uh, those places, and I think that'll be pretty cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to that, especially now that I'm slowly starting to knock out all these Disney parks. I'll be able to knock out uh, Paris there, because that was one of the places that we did not go to in 2018. And then uh, this one is a bit of a wild card, but uh, I'm excited to announce that we'll be going to Wiener Prater in Vienna, Austria which is uh, not an obvious choice, but this is a really cool place that has a lot of roller coasters, maybe none that are extremely noteworthy, but it's a very cool atmosphere because they're all kind of operated by individual people. And so the park is just kind of made up of a bunch of attractions in a small space. So it's very European. It's very cool. And that's why I'm excited to go there in March. Now, we do know we'll be going there. But again, I think that was one place that uh, not a whole lot of people expected that I'd be going to next year. Uh, but that's it as of the parks for March. We'll be going to a few other cities. Like, we're going to go to Budapest and, um, of course, Vienna. Uh, we're also going to go check out Berlin. So again, uh, some of these cities don't exactly have parks nearby. So that's kind of why we chose some of these cities is they're places we want to go that don't have big theme parks near them so that was logic behind that but that brings us to April uh, of course I always go to Lagoon because while I'm at a school that is the closest park near me and uh, last year I had the uh, chance to visit Lich Gardens and Glenwood Caverns in April I might go back to Glenwood Caverns in April it just depends on how the schedule works out because that's about like a five-hour drive from where I'm at so it's not too bad easy to do on a weekend and so uh, I might go back there not because they have anything new but just because I think that place is totally awesome so I enjoy it but that brings us to May, and there's a few places that are opening up new for 2020 roller coasters that I for sure want to go check out. One of them is, of course, Hershey Park with Candemonium and Chocolate Town, and so I'm assuming that they're shooting for a May opening there. Uh, so I'd love to go attend that. Um, 
We also have Six Flags Great Adventure for Jersey Devil and King's Island for Orion. Now, King's Island is probably going to open Orion in April. Uh, I won't really be able to go to that in April. At least I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. I guess anything's possible. But I'll probably hit that up in May. Assuming Great Adventure opens the Jersey Devil on time, like around Memorial Day, I'll probably be able to do Jersey Devil opening. And then one thing that I would like to do for sure next year is Texas. I haven't been back since 2016 and they have several new coasters that I haven't gotten the chance to do and one of the reasons why we wanted to go next year is because of Texas Stingray, this big old GCI coaster. Looks pretty cool. We're excited to go back here and that's the same park that also added Wave Breaker. And Wave Breaker is another coaster that I haven't had the chance to do. I also haven't done Wonder Woman Golden Lasso coaster. I haven't done any of the stuff in Galveston. Uh, Over Texas has since opened a 40 free spin. So all of these parks that I've been to and haven't been to, th basically there's a bunch of coasters I haven't done. So that's kind of why we want to do Texas. I think it's about time I get back there. So hopefully uh, that trip ends up working out just a few days down in the Lone Star State. So that brings us to June, and we'll be doing some parks around uh, Midwestern America, Holiday World, Kentucky Kingdom, Kings Island, Cedar Point. Uh, but I typically always do those parks around that time of year. Um, I love getting out to that part of the country. And uh, I know I said last year I wanted to get to Michigan's Adventure. That doesn't happen. Uh, so maybe I'll get to Michigan's Adventure this June. We'll see. I don't know. The thing is, it's just so far out of the way, and so that's why I haven't gotten there yet. There's only two Cedar Fair parks I haven't been to, and that's Michigan's Adventure and Valley Fair. We'll see if I can get to both of them this year, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see. So that brings to July, and there is another international trip that I am currently planning. And when I've announced the international trips in years past, I typically have a more solid idea of what I want to do. And this one's a bit rougher. This one, we're still playing around with some stuff, but that's because it will be happening in July. So we're still about six months away from what's happening. So we still have some time to flesh out some stuff, but here's what we tentatively are thinking. Now, we went to Europe in 2018, went to Japan in 2019. Where are we going in 2020? It's not China. We'll save that for another year. No, we're going to go back to Europe. Yeah, I'm going to Europe twice in the same year. It's going to be cool. But this one is going to be for a lot of the parks. This is going to be a park-based trip. And we're going to be going to some countries haven't been to before. And we're going to go back to a few parks that I have been to before, but each have new additions. Again, this is all tentative. We want to go to Poland for Legendia and Energylandia, which has so many coasters, and they're opening up a new Vacoma next year. Hopefully that'll be open by the time uh, July rolls around. I think it would be, but also we have Zadra and uh, freaking Hyperion there, so like these are some rides that I've always wanted to get on. Uh, that's just such an up-and-coming park, so uh, Poland is top of the list. Um, a place I'd also really like to get to is Finland, because when we went to Sweden, a lot of people were like, why aren't you going to Finland on this trip? Finland has a bunch of really cool stuff. And so that's a place that I would like to get back to, or not get back to, I haven't been before, but I just want to go there because of Lin and Maki, they opened Taiga, an Intamin launch coaster. That's big bucket list, it looks so cool. We also have, um, oh man, I hope I pronounced this right, Sarkanemi. Uh, that's a pretty cool place in the middle of Finland. And then Powerland, they have Junker, which is this launch coaster that I think they're extending the layout for this year. So it just looks so weird, which is, I think, why I wanted to specifically visit it next year. Go check this thing out, because uh, who knows what they're doing here, but it looks pretty cool. So uh, that'd be Finland if, uh, if you know, all this happens. And then uh, Germany is a place that I want to go back to, and specifically... Fantasia Land. I absolutely adored this park when I visited, and they're opening up Fly, this new generation flying coaster from Vacoma that looks amazing. I got the chance to talk to some of the Vacoma guys that I have this past year, and listening about it, I'm like, man, I, I want to ride this thing next year. So, um, assuming that you know construction doesn't get delayed, uh, the plan is to go ride Fly next year at Fantasia Land if everything works out. And also, Movie Park Germany is a place I haven't been to. We skipped it last time we went, and I would like to go visit there. Um, and I think that's going to be it for Germany, at least as of right now, that's what we're thinking, because Germany is such a big country, like, obviously we could go to Europa Park, we could go to Trips Drill, they're opening up a new coaster, but, you know, kind of got to pick and choose, and I think we're probably going to stay more northern Germany for this trip, so I think some of those places might have to save for another time, uh, but we also have the Netherlands. Toverland is a place that we visited last year, and they opened, not last year, 2018, and we barely missed this huge expansion that included Phoenix 
and Avalon and uh, Port Laguna, I think it's called. Uh, basically, the park is almost like doubled in size. It's this, it's huge now. It's, it's really cool. So we want to go back to Toverland for that purpose, and then Wallaby Holland for Untamed. Really enjoyed uh, my time at Wallaby Holland. The people there are awesome, and they have a new RMC. So. Uh, that's a, those are, I think Fantasia Land, Toverland, Wallaby Holland would be the three parks that we would go back to. So that'd be a repeat visit for me, but they have new coasters and I don't think we'd be going, uh, to anywhere else that I've been to before. But, uh, we also are talking about like, what else could we visit, uh, that's in the area. And I know Babahan Land is, uh, kind of nearby. You also have like Slaharan. So uh, these are some ideas that we might be able to, uh, work in, uh, visit to either of those parks. Maybe neither of them. We'll wait and see, but. Uh, nothing is set in stone, but as of right now, that is what we're thinking for July. Uh, some sort of European trip to go to uh, those three, four, maybe five countries. We'll see. Um, I think it's going to be exciting, and I can't wait. Uh, I, I'd love to, I've been waiting to get back to some of these places, even though it's only been two years, but like Fantasia Land, I was like, oh, I want to go back there so bad. I was not ready to leave when we visited, so uh, I'm really excited to see how that all plays out. So that brings us to August. I'm going to be going to Kennywood. I want to go get some more rides on Steel Curtain because I feel like I kind of got cheated out there. I only got one ride. So I want to see uh, maybe if it was better than I, I was originally saying it was. I've only been to Knobles once. I'd like to get back there. Uh, American Dream is a place that I just recently visited but missed out on two coasters there. And the water park wasn't open. And like So I'd like to go back there once the mall as a whole is open. So I am going to wait for everything to open up there before I go and visit again. Uh, so for that reason, I might wait and even push that back till maybe like December of, of this coming year. So don't know, but I would like to go back there. Also, uh, probably go back to like Cedar Point, Dollywood and um, places like these, Carowinds. So um, that'll be visiting uh, those parks with some people who have never been before. So that's why I think we're going to be going to a lot of those parks in a larger, like maybe two week trip. Um, again, we're still working out the details with that one. But um, that's pretty much it for as of what I have uh, tentatively planned. Valley Fair and Mall of America, you know, maybe I'll go and do that uh, in the fall. It'll just make it a weekend trip. I said I'd do that last year. That didn't happen. But uh, maybe I will this year. We'll see. Uh, I don't really have any set plans for October or December as of yet, but stuff will happen. So I think as of right now, that is what I have planned for 2020. I hope that you find it pretty exciting. I can't wait to bring all these videos to you guys and uh, check out some of these cool places, bring some content from some parks that maybe aren't getting as much coverage or if they are getting a lot of coverage, hope they'll be able to bring you something a little bit different than what some of the other guys are doing, which is why I'm always excited to visit some of these parks next year. Go check out the new rides and everything. It's going to be awesome so hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below what you think of all of this and of course i will keep you guys posted on uh some of these plans and and what ends up happening but uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next time